Welcome back. Monday is Memorial Day, and while the long holiday weekend is a busy time for travel and outdoor gatherings, most importantly, it's a time to remember and to honor our fallen service members. And tomorrow, there is a new memorial honoring Gold Star families. It's going to be unveiled in Naperville. We're getting a little look at it here. It will be displayed in Veterans Park and recognize local military members who have died in service, along with their families, continuing to show that support and that love. Joining us now is Denise Williams, president of the Illinois chapter of the American Gold Star Mothers. Denise, thank you for taking time on Memorial Day weekend to be with us here. It's my pleasure and my honor, I assure you. Yeah, it's an honor for you to be here with us. You're going to be delivering the keynote address tomorrow. Yes. Can you just talk about first how you're feeling this weekend and how you're feeling to be part of this significant moment uh, as we unveil a new statue and memorial? Well, it's it's unbelievably humbling. And I'm just in awe at the heart and the soul and the passion that so many put in over a period of three years to bring this memorial to Naperville, to the Chicago area. Um, and in honor of Woody Williams, he was the last living Medal of Honor recipient from World War II and from Iwo Jima when he passed last July. An amazing human being. And this type of tribute with him, what does this mean for you? Um, and for the others that you walk alongside with in this journey as a Gold Star mother and family. The memorial helps us inform the public, inform the community that it was our son, daughter, mm -hmm. family member, our loved one who died for their freedoms. But it was the community that raised them. It was the community that they served for. It's the home that they fought for. And this is very personal for yes. you. You lost your son, Andrew. He served in the Army. Yes. Can you share a little bit more about him? And we're seeing a picture of him now. Can you just, can you just speak to us about him? So Andrew was, um, he was my only child. He was just 21, six weeks past his 21st birthday when he was killed in Afghanistan on uh, November 1st, 2010. And it has been 12 and a half years, and yet every day, every moment, every breath I take is still all about him. Always was and always will be. And I look at him and I think, wow, my little boy grew up and did something so spectacular. I get to spend the rest of my life trying to live up to his legacy. And that just, it just fills me with awe. Wow. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you for his service, for you continuing on in this memory, in this commemoration of, of him and so many others. And I wanted to read this, something on the monument, the words that are going to be there, homeland, family, mm -hmm. patriot, sacrifice. What do those words mean to you as a Gold Star mother? They're the promise that everyone who raises their right hand and swears an oath makes to all of us and it's what they're promising for, to provide, to secure, to protect, and to defend. And they're the beacons of our lives. They certainly are. What is your, what would you like to say to those watching who are going into this weekend? I know a lot of us do a lot of fun things this weekend, mm -hmm. but there's also a lot of heaviness. What would you say to people watching right now? Absolutely celebrate the day. Celebrate all that you have everything that we are because somebody else paid for it. They gifted it to you with their life. So ab take a moment and remember that fact, why you have what you have, and then be worthy of that sacrifice. Mm, that's a beautiful message. Denise Williams, thank you for being with us. I know you, you have your gold star on. Yes. And also, what else do you have here? This is my son's dog tags. Um, they were the first dog tags that he was issued. I ripped them off of his neck when he was graduating from basic training and he said, Mom, you can't do that. And I said, oh yeah, tell the sergeant. I said so. And then uh, a few years later, or a year after he was he killed, somebody gifted me this wonderful dog tag with his photo and his information on the back. and. I've had these dog tags in my possession around my neck every day since the day he graduated from basic training. Wow. Denise, thank you so much for sharing so much thank with you. us. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having us and thank you so very much for helping to bring awareness to this Gold Star Family Memorial Monument. It's appreciated.
yeah, we, we're happy to be here to be able to do that with you. 